Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It is all about racing. Today in part two we're going to, of our buying collection, uh, we're going to take a look at Spark. Uh, Spark makes just about anything and everything in 143 scale, as one as 118 scale uh, that you could ask for. And they have a variety of different collections, some limited editions, some not. Prices tend to vary everywhere from about $50 on up to about $100. And generally you shouldn't pay more than $100 for a single Spark car. Now, some special editions and some box sets, which I'm going to show you, cost more, but we'll talk about this. Uh, also, you retailers tend to carry these from all over the world. I've bought from Italy, from France, from, uh, from Jerusalem. I have purchased from China, from uh, Hong Kong. Some places that I have tended to avoid and would strongly recommend, number one is Japan. And if you ever looked at the Japanese cars posted on eBay on their website, they're, on, they're ridiculously expensive. I mean ridiculously expensive. In addition to ridiculously expensive um, uh, shipping cards. So I would recommend that you just avoid Japan, period. If you see anything that says ships from Japan, look for something else. Another problem I have had, particularly with some of the Italian retailers, is shipping. Taking four to six weeks. Uh, I, I even had one car, which I'm actually waiting on right now, that has been shipping in the it's been sitting in a warehouse for three weeks because they attempted to deliver it. Uh, and I don't know why they couldn't deliver it to my front door, but they had issues with it and it's been sitting in a warehouse. I contacted the retailer. He's in charge of them. I won't buy from that retailer again. And that was one of the ones from Italy. I've received cars from France and I get them in two to three weeks. Uh, China, two to three weeks, two weeks from Hong Kong, uh, two weeks from Germany. Uh, but generally Italy and, uh, you know, it has been really the only one that I've bought from because I, some of the retailers have really good prices. They've got a great variety of cars, but delivery has just been problematic with them. But anyhow, let's talk about the cars themselves and what you can expect from Spark in particular. And we're going to go down here to the right-hand corners, I might call it, and look at these cars here. These are 24 Hours of Le Mans collection cars. I have reviewed all these cars individually. They are beautiful, fantastic cars. Uh, they have cars that have competed in Le Mans. I've got, I've got them from 2003 on up to 2021. Uh, these particular four here, uh, the ones on the right, this is from 2018. The portion beneath it is 2020. The boxes are somewhat fragile. They are closed ends, so you have to be careful when you open them or you can damage them because they're t very tightly sealed when you get them. They come with ju jewel boxes. They come with wooden bases. Uh, the interior of the boxes all vary. Some are reflective. This one has the design of the conning tower in the background. Uh, they all vary. The backgrounds vary. This one shows the, the back of the track on it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, these cars are beautiful. They're gorgeous. They are unlimited edition cars, which means they have made these uh, potentially in the tens of thousands. Now, the cars over here, the Jaguar, you can see this is a 2010 entry. Again, just like all the 24 Hours of Le Mans cars, even though this one has it in French, the 24 Hours de Mans, do have the closed sides. Um, this has a reflective background on the back of it. Again, it shows the track in the 24 Hours of Le Mans. This is a Jaguar. This is probably the rarest car in my collection, the, mo the most impossible one to find, if you can find one, period. Uh, the car beneath it is a prototype. Uh, this is the Pescarola Judd, uh, for, again from 2010. Same box, same style. Um, beautiful cars, wooden bases. Again, unfortunately, these are not limited edition cars. Now, in speaking of age, these three cars, they're old cars. And one thing I like about Spark is you get a wide variety of cars from just about every manufacturer, every car type. Uh, you can imagine they've got it. Uh, the Porsche on top here is a Porsche 997 GT3 from Dubai in 2014. It's a GT3 car. As you can see, as it raced Dubai, it's got the flag of the United Emirates on the front and the back of the box and on the back of it. It has the flag as well. The, these cars are open-sided, so they're not closed. Uh, they are limited edition cars. This one is 49 of 500. And the general rule with Spark cars is this. If it's a 24 Hours of Le Mans car, it's unlimited. If it's anything else, it's limited edition. This one, the Spark uh, Spiker, C8 Spider. I try to show you cars that you may not even know ever raced in Le Mans or in, or in any other race for that matter. Uh, this particular one did race in Le Mans in 2006. Therefore, it is an unlimited edition car. It has the reflective background. A really unique car from a 
from a Dutch car maker. And then there is this car, the QA Systems Porsche GT3. Uh, th this car is unique in that uh, its color scheme is just outrageous. It has a picture of the car actually in the background of the box. You can see it reflected there. Uh, this was from Kurt Ecke Motorsports. I've got to believe this may have been a German-only release. I happened to get it secondhand on eBay. Uh, it was a limited edition model, uh, this one being number 50 or number 60 of 400, uh, respectively. But a really, really neat car, um, really bizarre. Uh, this was a Nürburgring entrant, and the Nürburgring cars tend to be limited edition, and that could be why this was. Uh, but all the printing on the base is in German, um, and I've been to their website. It's all German. I can't figure out anything about this car other than what we have here. But anyhow, a really neat car. Now here are two sister cars, the 911 and the 912 car in the in the uh, IMSA WeatherTech series. Uh, these Porsches uh, competed in the 24 Hours of Daytona in 2020. Uh, they are limited edition cars. They come in the unique um, boxes, you know, again with the American flag. Uh, they have that that theme all the way around it. These are limited edition cars. Uh, very, very neat. The, the top one, the 912, is 539 out of 600, and the bottom one was 223 out of 800, that one being the 911 car. Again, these cars are not Le Mans livery cars, even though this exact same livery was raced in Le Mans under the numbers 91 and 92. But nevertheless, uh, these are limited edition cars. Now, the cars I have in the background, I'm going to pull one of these down here. This is the Falcon Motorsports car. You've seen this at Le Mans. It has raced at Le Mans. It's raced in, in the uh, Instant WeatherTech series. Uh, this particular car raced in Nürburgring in 2021. It has the German flag on the side of the car. On the back of it, it has Germany, again, with the colors on it. It says the 24 hours of Nürburgring. This is a limited ish car, 169 of 300. Uh, as is this McLaren. Now, this one came on a cream base. The box looks a little different, but it does have the uh, German flag on it. And on the back of it, it just has a German flag, period. It does have an opened end, this one being 174 of 300. Uh, so this is a limited edition car. This, I think, is, is the single coolest car I've got in my collection, period. Absolutely love it. Very rare, hard to find, uh, but again, a limited edition car. Now, these two cars are from Spa, and they, too, are limited edition cars. They come with these yellow boxes. Again, you see the, the Belgian flag, which looks a lot like the German flag, um, and the back of it has the Belgian flag on it as well. They, too, are limited edition cars, this one being 131 of 500. This is the Mad Panda Motorsport car. It's got one big-ass Mad Panda on it. The second one is the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo from Barwell Motorsports. Also competed at Spa, as you can tell. Same packaging that you saw on the other car. This one being 143 of 300. Very cool cars. Uh, these are all from what I call the non-Le Mans collection car. Basically cars that raced at the Nürburgring, at Spa, or at Daytona. Now we're going to look at Spark one-time one-off liveries, as I call them, and box sets, of which they only have three that I am aware of. I have two of them. Uh, but the first car I'm going to show you, this is an exception to the rule of just about everything. This is a Porsche GT3 GPX racing car called the Club. I think it's one of the coolest cars in my collection. It is not a Daytona car. Um, it was a test car, and basically, by all rules, this should be a limited edition car. Unfortunately, it is not. Still, still a very, very cool car, but it kind of defeats my theory that I've come up with. And it's the only exception that I have found. They also make this another call called the Diamond, which has diamonds instead of clubs on it. Now we are looking at these Porsche one-offs, as I call them. These are Porsche dealership limited edition cars. And they come packaged singly and in dual packages, all three of these. Uh, the first one we'll go ahead and take a look at, and this is quite frankly the most popular one probably on the whole planet. This is the Porsche Coca-Cola uh, Coalition car that they raced at Petit Le Mans in 2019. Uh, Porsche, who is based out of Atlanta, basically... Uh, 
joined forces with Coca-Cola, also an Atlanta-based company, for the special one-off livery that, that, that they de debuted at the 2019 Into Other Tech race at, at Petit Le Mans. These cars, the merchandise, the shirts, everything else were so popular, they sold out in hours. Other teams were asking where they could get merchandise. Um, I happened to get both of these uh, on eBay secondhand, and I paid out of the butt for them. Uh, but it was worth it. The first car that I got was this 911 car. And these cars all come in unique packaging, unlike all the other cars you, you've seen. Uh, they have this Porsche box. You know, it's got the logo on the front of it. They have plastic bases with plaques on the side that tell you what number of the car, you know, it was in the collection. They're all limited edition cars. As I said, I got this one first, was glad to get it, then was absolutely ecstatic when I saw this one for sale, and it was less than $500, so I picked it up. I have seen this thing, retailers asking as much as $1,100 and $1,200 for them. I've seen them sell for four or $500. Uh, uh, incredibly popular set. This one you can see even has a shrink wrapping on it. I haven't opened it up yet. I haven't reviewed it. Uh, you are the first to see it. Uh, you may be the first to see it, period, on YouTube from anybody, anywhere, anyone. Uh, these are really unique box sets. They tend to have pictures of the cars in the background, as you can see there. They come on this huge, massive wooden base uh, that tells you a little bit about the cars, the drivers, where it competed in. This is the 911 RSR, Petit Le Mans, the Coke Edition, you know, probably the hottest car that I have got in my collection. Uh, I could probably sell it and make five times what I paid for it. Uh, but I love it so much, that ain't going to happen. Now, this collection here was the 1970s Tribute Collection. Again, these are Porsche dealership limited edition cars. You can tell by the box. They look very similar to the Coca-Cola cars that you saw. Um, you know, they have the little silver plaque on the side that tells you, you know, it's a limited edition. This was 345th out of 2020 that they made because this car rolled out in 2020. I'm sure that's why they had 2020 vehicles that they made of it. Um, the set you see beneath it is actually the package set, like you saw with the Coca-Cola. Uh, this one celebrates the 1970 win for Porsche, their first of 19 at Le Mans, and they did it with this 917 Porsche prototype car that you have in great detail here. Uh, this livery was carried on to this 1970 tribute that they rolled out in 2020 on both the 91 and the 92 car. The 92 car was black and white, this one being red and white. Again, in the box, you have the picture of the car in the background. On this side, you see, you know, the livery being reproduced. And on the sides of the, of the box, they have 23 on this side for the number 23 car. And you have 91 on the side of that one for the 91 car. A really amazingly cool collection. I have reviewed this one independently on my channel. You can take a look at it for more detail. But that is the, uh, that is the 1970 Tribute Edition. Then last but not least is what is called the Thank You Edition. Now, I was unable to buy the box set. I placed a bid on it, and I got outbid. I, I bid furiously, but somebody with quicker fingers got it before I could. So I had to buy, buy both of these cars secondhand individually, but they are what is called the Porsche Thank You Edition. And like the other cars, they do have you know the same style box. You see the same theme rolling throughout here. Uh, the Porsche logo on it. You see the little number plate on there. This one being 1474 out of 1500. Darn near the last one they made of this particular car. And these have thank you uh, on the side of the car, on the running boards, and they also have it under the rear wing. Uh, and this was a thank you for all the people that supported Porsche and their factory program over the years that they competed in the uh, IMSA WeatherTech series. Also was the 9111 car, different livery, same theme, thank you. This one being 821 out of 1,500. Uh, but you get the picture. Unique uh, cars, special edition cars, all part of the Spark family, which I think they have, as I said, they have the widest selection of cars, the coolest cars, the neatest box bets, even though IXO is, is trying to catch up with them. And, and, and they do. They've got really good cars, but they're not quite as detailed as a Spark car. The bottom line is if you buy a Spark car, you, you are getting the most detailed car that you can get on the market. Um, uh, they have phenomenal collectible cars. The vast majority of my collection, and you haven't seen even half of it in this video, are Spark cars. Now stay tuned for part three. We will look at LookSmart, we'll look at Fujimi, and we'll look at TSM. Thanks for watching. See you in chat. See you in episode three.